Hello, how are you today? I'm Wilson Chan, I'm a KPI consultant for SME companies. A lot of people ask me, Wilson, should I set attendance as a KPI? How do I set attendance as a KPI? My answer to you is, please do not set attendance as a KPI. If you are still setting attendance as a KPI, you have to watch this video. First, you need to understand what is job. A job means you have an employment contract for your employee. When you hire your employee, you have a job contract. What is job contract? In your job contract, you have stated the job description. You also have a responsibilities and tasks that the employee is supposed to perform. You also have a salary inside the job contract and you have your working hours stated in the job contract. What does that mean? Meaning that you are paying a salary for your employee under the employment contract. It is the duty of your employee to perform the task, the responsibility and your employee have to come to work 9 to 5. That is part of the employment contract. The next thing you need to understand what is KPI. KPI is to move your company from point A to point B from your current state to the future state what does that mean? meaning that in the future you want to have more revenue more profit more customer better quality higher productivity that is what I mean by future state from your current state, your current revenue, let's say you are making 10 million, you want to make 20 million, that is future state. In order to achieve the future state, you need to have KPI for your company, you need to have a KPI for your department and also KPI for your employees. That is what we call KPI. KPI is for you to tell your employee what to be focused, how to drive your company to make more money, to make more profit, and to increase your customer base. That is KPI. You need to understand what is job, what is KPI. You pay salary for your employee to do the job includes responsibility, the task, and the working hours. You pay bonus to your employee when your employee help your company to achieve your company's KPI. What happens when you set your attendance as a KPI? What does that mean? It means that you are paying double. You are paying salary for your employee to come on time and if your employee coming on time, you also paying bonus because when your employee coming on time means they are achieving their KPI, you are paying bonus, you are paying double here. How about task? Task is not KPI. If you set task as a KPI, meaning that there's a possibility that you have a lot of high performance in your organizations and your company is not making money. It is a delusion. Because task does not drive your company directly to the goals that you want to achieve. Your employee can be seems very, very busy focusing on but you are not achieving your goal. You are not achieving your revenue. You are not achieving your profit. Task is too tedious to track and it is not objective driven. So that's why you need to be very, very focused on KPI. For each employee, you need to have around 3 to 5 KPI. If possible, you set 3 KPI for your employee to be 
focus. Okay, thank you for watching. I believe now you are very clear on why you should not set attendance as your KPI. You should not set your task as a KPI. If you learn a lot from this video, if you like this video, please share with your friends and also go to our Facebook page to follow our Facebook. We will have more to share in the future to help your organization to move from A to B. See you.